Dear friends in Jesus Christ, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, verse 28, Jesus says, The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. Yes, indeed, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the greatest leader to ever walk on the face of the earth, broke the leadership mold. He demonstrated servant leadership by washing the feet of his disciples, which was typically the job of the lowest servant in the household. Even though Jesus was God in human form, he humbled himself to serve his disciples. Further, he completely emptied himself and died on the cross to save the entire humankind. Our Archbishop Patriarch, His Eminence, Most Reverend Philip Neri Cardinal Ferrau, instructs, guides and leads us through his pastoral letter every year. This year's pastoral letter is based on the theme, You also should do as I have done to you. These are the words from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verse 15. After washing the feet of his disciples, Jesus instructed his disciples to do the same. Jesus calls us his disciples to serve one another just as he did. To follow the example of our master, we need to first know what kind of a leader he was. As we reflect on this command of Jesus, today our prime focus will be on the second section of the pastoral letter. That is, what type of a leader was Jesus? Friends, after washing his disciples' feet, Jesus goes on to explain the meaning of what he had done. Jesus begins by appreciating his disciples and their commitment to him as their only teacher and Lord. But he immediately tells them that their commitment demands an immense responsibility to show in attitude and action the same and sacrificial love to all. We cannot follow Jesus with our own ideologies and opinions. To be a disciple of Jesus, one necessarily needs to have the master's mind and heart. Keeping this in mind, the pastoral letter helps us to reflect on some of the significant characteristics of Jesus' servant leadership. They are as follows. Jesus goes in search of his people. Jesus had a passion for his mission. Jesus' leadership is inclusive. And the last one, Jesus' leadership is transforming and life-giving. Today, we shall ponder on the first two characteristics of his servant leadership. Jesus goes in search of people. As we know, the ministry of Jesus had to do with people. Jesus did not wait for the people to come to him, but he went out in search of them. He reached out and he was reachable. In the Gospel of John chapter 10 verse 11, Jesus states, I am the good shepherd. He thus identifies himself with the image of God as a shepherd searching for stray sheep in Ezekiel chapter 34 verses 11 to 16. Jesus welcomed everyone with love and joy. He went from place to place and did not restrict himself to one location. Neither did he set up a dwelling place for himself in every city he visited. He visited the marketplace, the synagogue, the homes of the people. He walked through the villages, bringing good news and curing diseases everywhere. Jesus left his comfort zone and walked into the lives of those who needed him the most. He went in search of the lame and the blind, the poor and the rich, the marginalized and those living in sin. 
by his tender loving care and concern he won over people's hearts he dialogued with the learned and the ignorant and satisfied their spiritual intellectual and physical needs jesus was a synodal leader journeying with the people building relationships and teaching his disciples to do likewise a synodal person journeys with others reaches out observes listens and responds jesus was a listening leader because he loved others with a perfect love he listened without being condescending a great leader listens not only to others but also to his conscience and to the promptings of god jesus was a patient pleading and a loving leader secondly jesus had a passion for his mission passion is power and passion is needed for genuine success of any task tepidity kills the passion for mission people also remember us for the passion we had in life saint teresa of kolkata is remembered for the passion she had in her work for the poor saint damien is remembered for his passionate love for the lepers jesus was clear about his mission and passionate about it at the beginning of his public ministry being convinced about his anointing he says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor this is from luke chapter 4 verses 18 to 19 his intimate and well nurtured relationship with his father kept him focused on his goal and no obstacle could deter him from achieving it in john chapter 2 verses 13 to 20 we see that when jesus goes into the temple and when he sees animals being sold for sacrifices and the exchange of money he begins to clear out everyone and commands them to stop turning his father's house into a marketplace at this very time his disciples remembered the prophecy from the scriptures which says passion for god's house will consume me this was a reference to psalm 69 verse 9 jesus was chosen by his father as the vessel to redeem mankind jesus always knew that his mission was to do the will of his father my food is to do the will of him who has sent me and to complete his work john chapter 4 verse 34 jesus followed god's plan even through hardship and severe persecution in john chapter 6 verses 38 to 40 jesus said for i have come down from heaven not to do my will but to do the will of him who sent me jesus passionately followed his father's will jesus and his mighty works were not accepted by everyone he was ridiculed and rejected but he refused to be discouraged he very well knew the price he would have to pay to accomplish his mission and he was ready for that passionate leaders are focused on their goals they are committed and ready to pay the price in order to be passionate about the mission entrusted to us a change of heart like saint paul is what every one of us needs like paul we need to say if anyone is in christ there is a new creation the old one has passed away everything has become new this is from the second letter to corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 dear friends jesus did not teach leadership techniques but he grew a character a character on a christ like servant heart he modeled servanthood 
and challenged his disciples to follow that example, that is, to be like him. Servant who doesn't nullify leadership, it defines it. He showed his followers that the true mission of a leader is to serve others. We, as followers of Jesus, must center our character on a Christ-like servant heart, not serving ourselves with the benefits of position, power and status emulating the leaders in the world. But on the contrary, follow the example of Jesus with great humility, love and passion and carry forward the mission of service in our families, communities, church and society. In this particular pastoral year, let us strive to do the same and let us ask for God's help in doing so.